Hello friends, today I will discuss about carrier aided protection scheme of transmission line. Consider a line AB. Zone 1 is 80% of line length protected by uh, AB at relay at uh, A end and zone 2 is the remaining 100% uh, or 120% uh, of the line length as shown in the green uh, line for relay A. Similarly for relay B, in B uh, zone 1 and zone 2 has been shown by uh, blue line. Consider a fault occur at a point F which lies both zone 1 for relay at A end and relay at B end and, uh, simultaneously. Therefore, relay and A and relay B uh, trip the breaker instantaneously to their respective circuit breaker and clear the fault. Consider the fault occur at a point F which lies 85 to 95 per 90 percent of the uh, 95 percent distance from relay A uh, and uh, it is uh, lies in zone 1 of uh, relay at B end. Relay B will trip instantaneously but relay A trip in zone 2 time that is in between 350 to 500 millisecond delay. In transmission line most of the faults are transient in nature. For example lightning, tree fault, object fall in line, flash over of insulator etc. As soon as the relay sends the fault it will trip uh, the circuit breaker associated with the fault. To minimize the interruption time or outage time, uh, auditory close features is incorporated in distance relay that is relay uh, sends the fault uh, particularly of that phase it will send a trip signal of, of that phase of the circuit breaker uh, therefore if there is the separate pole of the circuit breaker uh, it will um, trip only in that phase faulty phase of the circuit breaker and after a dead time of certain time it will send a closing pulse from the distance relay and it will close the circuit breaker to normalize the feeder. Therefore auto recluse features is used to uh, minimize the outage time or interruption time and to flow the steady state power supply. Now, a fault occur at a zone 2 from relay A end and uh, zone 1 at relay B end. Relay B will uh, trip uh, at zone 1 time that is instantaneously but relay at A end uh, trip at zone 2 time. Therefore, for successful operation of artery close, relay A and relay B must be trip simultaneously. Um, that should be possible uh, possible from a carrier aided protection trip because the carrier aided protection scheme uh, function it has been shown in this diagram a fault occur at a point f which lies at zone 2 of relay that is uh, it will say sense the fault at zone 2 but it will trip uh, after uh, 350 to 500 millisecond but uh, relay B sends the fault at zone 1 time. Relay, since uh, relay B sends the fault at zone 1 time, it will send a signal to the carrier protection channel or digital protection coupler panel um, that uh, signal will be sent uh, and the digital protection coupler will uh, convert the analog signal to digital signal and it will send through the optical fiber cable connected by a transmission line ground wire uh, at the far end of the substation. Um, same signal has been received from the digital protection coupler panel at uh, relay at A and, um, A and side and it will convert the same signal to the analog signal the relay at A end and that is distance relay A will receive as a carrier receive and uh, since zone 2 pick up as well as carrier receive it will send a trip signal to the 
respective uh, breaker circuit breaker of the transmission line and it will isolate the fault therefore for carrier related protection tip we require a carrier uh, which may be a optical fiber cable or plcc channel in this diagram the logic has been uh, shown for carrier rated protection scheme as well as the artery close for both the circuit breaker since fault occur at uh, at a point which lies zone 1 for relay b and uh, re, uh, zone 2 for relay a uh, for uh, carrier uh, zone uh, relay at b end send a carrier send as well as strip the circuit breaker instantaneously for b end circuit breaker the carrier uh, send through dpc the digital protection coupler it convert the analog channel to the uh, digital channel and uh, transmit by a optical fiber cable and received at the far end by a digital protection coupler it convert the uh, digital channel to the analog and send to the relay end since uh, relay a zone to pick up and carrier received it will trip the circuit breaker that is the end logic is uh, incorporated for relay at a end that is zone to pick up and carrier received a tip in the circuit breaker at zone one time since both the circuit breaker trip at the same simultaneously after um, dead time for arc deionization of the fault ra relay at a and relay at b and send auto close pulse from their respective distance relay to the circuit breaker to normalize the feeder what are the necessary uh, requirement for carrier aided uh, protection trip the first requirement is carrier um, channel must be healthy it uh, must be optical fiber uh, cable or uh, earlier it was used as a power line carrier uh, frequency number 2 it will be applicable for a fault in the segment of protect, uh, protected uh, portion of the line that is if a fault occur in between line a to line b if fault occur beyond line b it will not possible for carrier protection trip protection logic number 3 fault current shall be fed from the both end that is the for uh, successfully uh, tripping of the far end that is fault occur at the 80 beyond 80 percent of the transmission line but 100 percent of the uh, transmission line zone 2 uh, zone 2 sends from the relay at a end but uh, zone 1 sends from the relay at a b end um, which will be possible when the fault is fed from the far end substation that is b end substation that is there must be source from the both end substation otherwise it is not be successful friends if you like my videos then go through my channel and do subscribe my channel and please bell uh, push the bell uh, button for notification of videos to be uploaded in future thank you very much